Hello everyone, my name is Ping. I'm from the Illinois Tech. Today, I'm going to present our paper, The Interaction Between Political Typology and Filter Bubbles in News Recommendation Algorithms. This work is, bun, is done by the collaboration of Illinois Tech and the Tulane University. The motivation of this paper is as follows. From the Pew study research, it shows that 42% of people in the US prefer to get their political news through online sources. Most online platforms employ personalized algorithms to recommend political news to the user. This leads to the filter bubbles in which users are overexposed to ideas that conform with their pre-existing perceptions, promoting intellectual isolation. Prior work typically simplify the problem space by reducing user preferences to a single partisan score. It could be either a liberal or conservative. Nevertheless, this ignores that users may have different preferences on different topics. For example, a user may have a conservative view on abortion, but a liberal view on the healthcare. In this paper, we conduct simulation studies on news recommender system to address the following research questions. One, how do user preferences influence the diversity of recommendations? Uh, second, how do filter bubbles vary by the type of recommendation algorithm? Third, how does recommendation diversity vary for users with heterogeneous preferences? We start our project by collecting the data. Firstly, we identify 41 different news sources from all sites website. From this website, each news source is assigned a partisan score. This score is from minus two to plus two, which can be interpreted as from uh, extreme liberal to the extreme conservative. From the table, you can see that overall, we collect more than 900,000 articles from this from 41 new sources. Then we determined 14, uh, determined 14 uh, political topics in US. Uh, this includes the topics such as abortion, environment, guns, healthcare, as well as the Trump impeachment, US 2020 election. Then we pass a subsample of the dataset to the Amazon Turker. In the end, M Amazon M Turkers labeled around 2,000 political relevance articles. Have this labeled data, we then built a two-stage classifier, relevance classifier, and a topic, topic classifier. In this case, we will firstly determine whether the, whether the article is relevant to the US politics, then we will de determine the topics for each article. These two tables reports the performance of the relevance classifier and the topic classifiers. As we can see here, most uh, classifiers can achieve F1 score at least uh, 0 0.8. Only uh, very few uh, classifiers has a lower score. For example, for the welfare, this topic is much broader than others. It covers everything from the cash assistance program to the homeless issue. So that's why the classifier have a difficulty to uh, achieve higher performance. In order to get, get a, in order to reduce the bias from the dataset, we sample the, our data in the end for our simulation. Specifically, we sample 8,000 articles from each sense. So in the end, we have uh, our dataset contain 40,000 articles in total which has 51,000 labels. Our simulation work uh, has two assumptions. First, user preferences are predefined and fixed over articles they would like to read. And the user, uh, these preferences are parameterized by topic and stance of the article. Second, user preferences don't change over time, which means it has a constant user preferences during the recommendation process. The first component of our simulation is user preference model. As we can see on the right-hand side, 
uh, the uh, user utility matrix is a 2D matrix. In the, our case, that will be the 14 by 5. Each cell of the matrix has a value between 0 and 1 to indicate the user's interest for that particular topic stance combination. From Pew study, we identify nine particle typologies with their utility matrix. As we show the image below, we have the uh, typologies from the extreme left, such as solid liberals or the opportunity Democrats, to the extreme right, such as country first conservatives or the core conservatives. We also have the typologies in the middle, which ha who have the uh, mixed view, such as the bystanders and the devout and diverse. This is an example of the utility matrix for devout and diverse user. So this user would have a liberal view on the topic racism, welfare, and healthcare. He also have a conservative view on the topic abortion, immigration, LGBTQ, and etc. So this will be a perfect example of how a user uh, utility matrix looks like. The second component of the simulation is the user interaction model. Uh, we, based on the previous work, uh, interaction model will accept a user utility matrix and the article vector to simulate. Uh, then this model will simulate whether the user will like or dislike the recommended article. We also define our recommender models. We, for, we have rec a random recommender, which will randomly recommend the articles to the user. We have a content-based recommender using logic regression for each user. We have a collaborative filtering using the non-negative metric factorization. Uh, we also have another baseline, which is the Oracle recommender. It's a kind of cheat because it can fully or partially observes users' utility metrics. To combine random recommender to, uh, with two personalized recommender for the content-based and the collaborative filtering, it has three settings as, uh, as we control the randomness. So it could be zero, uh, randomness, randomness at zero, 50%, and 100%. In order to measure the filter bubbles, we define the following filter bubble metrics. The first is the click-through rate. The second is average document stance. In this case, the document stance is derived from its new sources participants score. In order to measure the diversity of the uh, recommendations, we define the normalized stance entropy and the normalized topic entropy. So our experimental, uh, the last part of this presentation is the experimental results. So in this case, we, uh, you can find more discussions from the uh, paper. In this case, we will discuss some uh, typical results here. The, uh, the first question is how do user preferences influence the diversity of recommendations? So from the figure, we can explain how we set up the experiments. So each color represents different uh, political typologies. Uh, since we have three panel, which means we have three different recommender, content recommender, collaborative filtering, and Oracle recommender. For the first two recommenders, we have three different settings in terms of the randomness, as we discussed before. Each small symbol represents a single run, since each setting has 100 uh, simulations. The large symbol represents the average of the setting. Then we fit a lowness uh, curve for each prototype. The axis, the x axis for this uh, graph is the CTR. The y axis of this graph is the average document stance. So from the graph, it's easier to see that the more extreme a user's preferences are, the more extreme their recommendations will be. In this case, these two color, the orange and the blue, represent the core conservative and the country first conservative. The blue here represents the solid liberal. So all these prototypes are the extreme user and they have higher um, CTR than other typologies. The same thing still happens with the collaborative filtering and Oracle recommender. The second question is, 
how to filter bubbles vary by type of recommendation system. In this case, we want to discuss collaborative filtering and the content base separately. For the collaborative filtering, it has two biases. The first is distribution of preferences across all users will influence the popularity of some topics over others. The second is minority groups tend to be absorbed by larger group. In the, in the figure on the right-hand side, it shows the example of devout and the words. So each number on the start will be the difference of number of articles when we calculate the collaborative filtering minus the article recommender. Since the devout and diverse has a liberal view on the recent topic, as we show here, however, it's under-recommended uh, uh, comparing with the article recommender because all the other because the reason that we discussed before that minority groups tend to be absorbed uh, by the larger group, such as the poor conservative and the country first conservative. For the content-based recommender, we think the bias it has bias due to the linguistic polarization. For example, in the immigration topic, terms like illegal and alien are much more likely to appear in the right-leaning article. However, the undocumented are more common in the left-leaning article. So the graph here shows the CTR versus normalized topic entropy. So the blue, the blue, uh, blue curve here represents uh, the content recommender. We can see that uh, content-based recommenders tend to have lower entropy uh, over topics show other than other two recommenders. The third question is, how does recommendation diversity vary for users with heterogeneous preferences? We pick up example also as the devout and diverse. So these users has uh, lean right on most issues, but lean left on issues of race, welfare, and healthcare. For the collaborative filtering, it has a subsumed effect, which means uh, these users are classed along with more right-leaning uh, red leaning users. So they are recommended more conservative articles. For the content recommender, it has a key, keyword overlap. For example, baby appears in both abortion and healthcare. But since the well and diverse users has a red leaning preferences for the abortion articles, the recommender may also start to recommend in conservative healthcare articles contrary to their preferences. So as a conclusion, we found that users with more extreme views tend to be easier for recommendation system to model and tend to enjoy hard CTR. Even though this is only possible with less diverse recommendations, both in terms of political views and the topics. We also find that two common classes of recommendation algorithms can each result in different filter bubbles for different reasons. In the end, we find that users with heterogeneous preferences tend to be recommended articles that reflect more homogeneous viewpoints. For the future work, we want to extend our current paper in three directions. So instead of using constant uh, user preference metrics, we want to update users' preferences metrics over recommendation process. Second, we plan to conduct a user study to test the external validity of conclusions that we draw from this paper. In the end, we also want to investigate the frames in the political articles to better understand the, the behavior of content-based uh, content recommender. In the end, we also want to thank NSF to support this uh, uh, project in the past two years. So that will be all my presentation and see you on the conference. Thanks so much.